Mortal Kombat 1 being trash is the most popular topic on the game so far. Many people are making videos, including myself, talking about the negative things in Mortal Kombat 1 and the disappointment that they have for the franchise. Although many of these videos contain constructive criticism and not just blatant lies and slander, many videos don't actually give any solutions on how to fix the game or maybe offer some alternatives that could help revive the game itself. What's good with y'all boys, it's Waffles here, and today I'm going to be giving you guys 5 game modes that can revive Mortal Kombat. Getting right into the video, starting off with number 5, Chess Combat. Ah yes, Chess. On the surface it may sound like a game mode that is very boring and bland, but if you actually played Mortal Kombat Deception, you would know that this game mode is far from bland. In this game mode, you play chess using Mortal Kombat characters with five different pieces, starting from Leader, Champion, Sorcerer, Shifter, and Grunt. The Leader being the King, the Champion being the Queen, and going down from there. Once you choose your pieces, you will then be put onto the chessboard, and you will have to set down a trap. This trap will automatically defeat one of your pieces on the board, and from there, you will start playing the game. There are two healing pieces on the board that give you extra health and you also have a spell list. On this spell list you can either heal a character, teleport a piece, resurrect a piece, protect a piece, kill an opponent's piece, imprison an opponent's piece, exchange an opponent's piece, or sacrifice. Once two pieces meet, instead of actually taking that piece, you will have to battle it out for that square. So whoever wins takes the spot and you continue to play until someone defeats the other person's leader or their king. If this was implemented into Mortal Kombat 1, it would be great, great content for content creators to upload, reviving the game in some sense. It would also help casual players who don't like to play invasions or who are tired of invasions to have something else to play. If you could also have multiple people in a lobby, like King of the Hill, maybe everyone is a different piece, that would be awesome. And it would just be a good addition to the game and just make it more interesting. I personally love chess combat and it's one of my favorite game modes in the 3D era, the PS2 midway era of Mortal Kombat. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of this game mode. Alright, the next game mode on the list is going to be something that most people preferred over the cameo system. That is going to be the tag team battle. Now Ed Boon did say the tag battle wasn't played enough in Mortal Kombat 9 to be implemented into a future game, but I believe right now we would much prefer to play tag battle than to play with the cameo system. Being able to play with two different characters is fun and chaining combos between two characters is fun and being able to utilize both of their full movesets instead of like a few moves that the cameo system does give you. I believe having a tag partner would be better than the cameo system and a lot of people don't really like the cameo system already so if you were to add the tag team battle on top of the cameo system and another feature allowing people to not use a tag partner or a cameo and just playing one on one just Liu Kang versus Liu Kang without any extra help I think that would be great for the game. Having that much diversity in the gameplay would help the game tremendously. Being able to choose which style of play you want to play, you might get tired of playing with the cameo system and want to just do one-on-ones for the week. Or you might want to go to tag team battles. Or you might want to just say, hey, let me pick my character and have a friend and let him pick his character and let us be on teams and go against other tag team teams. This will help keep the game from being stale and I don't think it's a stretch to be able to implement these things within a few months because we actually seen from Dynasty's video that one of the data miners found that there was already some type of code for tag team battles and I don't think taking away the cameos and allowing people to play one on one should be hard to do. So I think this is very doable. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this one. Third on my list is a little wacky one and I see people talking about it but not that much and that is motor combat. I think adding such an arcadey game mode will help relieve stress from people who are struggling on combat league or not really good at the game itself and allowing people to you know go online and play against their friends or play against random people online you know they might not be good at mortal kombat 1 but they might be very great at mortal kombat so when they're losing or if they're having a hard time or if they're just tired of playing mortal kombat 1's 
regular gameplay in general, this arcade game mode could feel as a little filler upper. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you don't know what motor combat is, it's actually a motor combat spin on Mario Kart. Each character has its own kart with its own set of stats and special move. And you just race around the track Mario Kart style, trying to win, and you can perform fatalities and fall to your demise. I think Mortal Kombat would be a great addition to Mortal Kombat 1, especially in 2024 with the new gen console power. They can do so many things to upgrade it. Let me know in the comment section below anything that you think that they can add to Mortal Kombat to make it better in 2024. Alright, now if you're a Mortal Kombat fan, you probably already know what these last two are gonna be so let's see let me know in the comment section below which one you think is going to be number two and which one you think is going to be number one so here it goes my number two pick is creative fighter now if they bring back creative fighter and they allow us to use our creative fighters to fight in player matches or even its own separate ranked mode that would revive the game to 100 percent health <laughs> now if you don't know what creative fighter is it's a game mode that originated back in mortal kombat armageddon where you could create your own fighter mortal kombat armageddon had every single character in mortal kombat at the time so you could literally create combinations of special moves from every single character in mortal kombat mortal kombat 1 had fighting styles so you could also choose two fighting styles and a weapon style there was a good selection of clothing, hairstyles, facial expressions like Baraka's face and Cyborg's faces and stuff like that. So yeah, this was a great deal back in the day. People were creating Goku, Thor, Kami from Street Fighter. It was so much potential. Now this is another game mode that I don't think would be very hard to create. And if they couldn't just give it to us the same way they did back in Mortal Kombat Armageddon, they could do this. Now at the end of Mortal Kombat 1 story mode, we did get to see a lot of different creative combinations of characters. You've seen things like Raiden and Kano being mixed together, Sub-Zero and Scorpion being mixed together, Johnny Cage and Kung Lao being mixed together. So if they can't just allow us to make our own original character, they could at least allow us to combine different characters in the game. Which is kind of like allowing us to make our own original character, but... You know, maybe if they don't have the time to make it so in depth, maybe they could just give us this. I think that'll be good enough until they can like flesh it out over time. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. How would you implement Creative Fighter? All right, now that you've seen that Creative Fighter is number two, it's obvious what number one is. If you got it right, comment down below. I got it right, Waffles. And I will heart your comment and like your comment. First one to comment, it will be pinned. So let's get right into it. My number one pick is Conquest Mode. Now, if you don't know what Conquest Mode is, please leave the video right now. You're a disgrace. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but if you actually are new to Mortal Kombat and you don't know what this game mode is, it's kind of hard to explain because there are three different versions. In Mortal Kombat Daily Alliance, it was a tutorial mode. In Mortal Kombat Deception, it was an adventure style mode. And in Mortal Kombat Armageddon, it was kind of like a beat em up style game. But the most popular is Mortal Kombat Deception style of it because you were able to go between different realms, traverse, talk to different people, learn the lore of the game. It was many different Easter eggs in the game. You could see and talk to different characters that you haven't seen in a while. And there were different fight challenges and stuff like that. This game mode could be a game in itself. That's how big and in depth it is. It takes a long time to complete fully. There are different side quests and stuff like that. Now, back in the PS2 era, there were no story modes with cutscenes and stuff like that. So, Conquest Mode kind of stood in as your story mode, per se. This is where you learn the full story of the game and different Easter eggs and different fun facts about the Mortal Kombat lore. All in all, this game mode is a masterpiece. Whether you like the beat it up style in Armageddon with Taven, or you like Shijinko's more lore based, story based, traversing through the realms adventurous style. It's a shame that we haven't seen this game mode come back in over a decade. Mortal Kombat 9 and going up ever since NetherRealm took over Mortal Kombat. We haven't seen Conquest mode in a Mortal Kombat game. And it's a shame, man. We have PS5, you know, PS5 graphics, PS5 technology. And it would be great to see Mortal Kombat 1 have a Conquest mode. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. 
I honestly think if they bring back Conquest mode, they should allow us to do a unique original story with our own created character. Yes. Mix creative fighter with Conquest mode. Wow. Fighting game of the year. I'm telling you, y'all gonna come back. I'm telling you, y'all gonna come back. All right, guys, that's my five game modes that can save Mortal Kombat 1. Let me know in the comment section below if there are any other game modes that you like that you would take over in your mind. What is your top five? What is your order? Do you like my order? What would you rate my list out of 10? I rate my list a 10 out of 10. I think all of these are very viable, and I think these are the best game modes that can help save the game. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Once again, I love to have conversations with you guys, and I love to debate with you guys in the comments. It's Waffles. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'm out. Peace.